An instant movie is a professional-looking edited movie complete with titles, soundtrack, effects, and transitions that you will create following a simple wizard. It's a great way to quickly create a fun music video-like production. You'll learn how in this lesson as I create an instant movie from my London footage. You create an instant movie in the media view. I want to create this from my London trip, so let me make sure only the London footage is selected. And I want to use only the video, so let me deselect still images and let me deselect audio. And then I'll click Control A to select my footage. Then click Instant Movie. You're not seeing a lot of choices because I'm working with pre-release software. You'll certainly have a lot more if you install the full version of Adobe Premiere Elements. You can preview any one of them by clicking Play. Careful what you wish for, though, eh? Anyway, that looks like about my best choice, so I'm going to use that one. I'll choose it, and then click Next. Okay, first you want to customize your opening title and closing title. And I guess we can leave the closing title. Okay, check the Auto Edit checkbox to have Adobe Premiere Elements analyze your clips and edit them to fit the selected theme, which I recommend. If you don't select Auto Edit, Adobe Premiere Elements uses the clips as is and doesn't edit them. Check the Auto Analyzer to have Premiere Elements auto analyze your clips and use that information to include only the best quality clips in the production. The Apply To checkboxes are grayed out when you're producing an instant movie from the media view. They will be available when producing the equivalent from the timeline. Let's open up the Music Options. Click Theme Music to use the music that Adobe Premiere Elements included for that theme. Or you can click My Music and then browse for your own song or you can go with no music. I'm going to go with theme music for my production. Okay, use this slider to select the intensity of the music and the music source. If you want the audio to be exclusively from the clips included with the production, uh, drag it all the way to the right, and obviously you can choose any point in between. For this video, there's a lot of background noise with my clips, and I really want to emphasize the music and sound effects, but I do want to hear the street noise from the original clip, so I won't drag it over here, I'll drag it to about here. If you have dialogue in your project, which I don't, select the Smart Mix checkbox, and Premiere Elements will reduce the volume of the music track when it detects dialogue. Note, however, that since Adobe Premiere Elements will cut your clips into short segments, irrespective of what's being spoken, if there's a lot of dialogue, you may want to go exclusively with the background music. Smart Mix isn't necessary for me because I don't have any dialogue in my videos. Okay, let's close that. In terms of speed and intensity, if you want Premiere Elements to insert more effects into the clips, drag this slider to the right. Same deal with the cuts. If you want a lot of cuts, very fast-paced uh, production, drag it all the way to the right, all the way to the left for slower cuts. Mine's kind of a medium production, so I'm going to leave this there and move this into the middle. Let's close this up and go to Duration. Now, you have several options here. You can match the music, which I'll use, basically. If I select Match Music, Adobe Premiere Elements produces a movie that matches the duration of the selected music, and that's pretty much what I use most of the time. You can also specify duration. It doesn't make sense if you choose your background music because it's going to cut it off arbitrarily, but that's your option. And the final choice is to just create a movie that uses all the clips, and if you need to repeat the background music, that's what will happen. I will go with Match Music. Close this up. And in this box, I can have Premiere Elements analyze the clips and put them in the best order for the theme, or I can put them in chronological order. And I don't really care in this production, so I'm going to go with the theme order. That will look best. And here's where I get to choose the type of effects and the type of content that Premiere Elements inserts into the instant movie. And I'm going to go with the intro and the closing movie. And basically, I'll just accept these defaults. That works well for me. Let's close this. And then do I want to render a preview? And I'll say no. If the preview without rendering is too slow, I can always manually preview. And typically on a reasonably powered machine, the preview will be fast enough to see if you like the instant movie or not. So I would recommend not enabling this. After choosing all options, click Apply. In this instance, because I've only got clips totaling 2 minutes and 12 seconds in length, those are the demo clips that I'm using for the lessons, Premiere Elements is saying that the music track is 3 minutes and 55 seconds long. What do you want me to do? Do you want to select more clips or do you want to reuse the clips as needed to fill out the 3 minutes and 35 seconds? And I'll just say, no, I don't want to select more clips. I want to build it as is. So now Premiere Elements is building the instant movie. And once again, it's asking if I want to render before I preview. And again, I will say no. So here's our instant movie. And let's look at some of the elements. Here's the title.
Okay, pretty loud music. Let me drag through to see some of the other elements, some of the effects applied. Okay, red line tells me there's rendering that's necessary, so there are obviously some effects there. And choose another area, say here. The shipping version of Adobe Premiere Elements will probably have a style, the source footage in this case, a lot better, but you get the idea. You get a music video-like production in a very short period of time. If you want to edit the production, anything you really don't like in it, you can right-click it, click Break Apart Instant Movie, and here are all the elements that Premiere Elements inserted to create that instant movie. So a lot goes into this, and I know the preview window is small, but these are all the clips that Adobe Premiere Elements used to create the movie. If you shot 40 minutes of vacation video and just want to quickly upload a montage to YouTube or Photoshop.com, try creating an instant movie. It only takes a moment to create an engaging music video-like production.